ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering why I called you here. <laughs> well, this is why we're here. Uh, 2001, when, when the ape is playing with that bone, and he's like, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm, and I can, boom, and he's like, hmm, and it goes flying up here. According to Sammy in his recently published autobiography, yeah. you fired him from the band. Is that true? Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, it was definitely a, a pioneering album and, and one of the most well, let's original not and diverse yeah. records of its kind, really. Yeah, but let's not forget Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow, which well, influenced me very heavily. Well, it was so debilitating that I didn't pick up a guitar for two and a half years. Wow. My, these hands did not touch strings for over two years. I'm just really fortunate that after, you know, these songs were written 40 years ago that we're playing. And we're introducing some gamma songs into the set too. But these 40-year-old songs that I penned when I was in my 20s are still—they're still, they're still uh, loved by people. It's, it's a great feeling. They sing along with them, and I love it. Okay, well, this is Sean Perry with VintageRock.com, and I am sitting here with a true guitar hero, Mr. Ronnie Montrose. How are you doing, to be, today, Ronnie? It's good to be here, and thanks for calling me a hero. Uh, you, you most definitely are. You're one of mine. I, I grew up listening to your music, and it's, it's great to see you I appreciate it. I never get tired of hearing it. Thank you. Cool, cool. Well, la now last night you played the Canyon Club, right? Yes. How'd that go? Uh, spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely spectacular. People there are into it. I mean, it's just it, I'm just really fortunate that after you know these songs were written 40 years ago that we're playing. And we're introducing some gamma songs into the set too. But these 40-year-old songs that I penned when I was in my 20s are still—they're still, they're still uh, loved by people. It's, it's a great feeling. They sing along with them, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes, it's real good. Well, and of course, you're playing tonight here at the Coach House, which yes, we is are. where we're at. Yep. And so, I mean, what what can we expect to see? You're you're going to play like you were saying. You're going to play some of your older material. Just give us a no, little. No, that's all I'm playing is all older older Montrose material, and we're working gamma songs into the set. But it's mm -hmm. all Montrose all the time for the most part mm -hmm. doing okay. old-school power trio uh, you know guitar bass drums and vocal rock that's mm -hmm. it cool well tell me about your band who's in your band these days I've got uh, uh, Steve Brown on drums and uh, uh, Dan McNay on bass and Keith St. John on vocals and what's been happening is I've been for years going through a, going through this kind of a revolving door thing with with players I've always had a you know, the, like a stable of players that, that could come in and fill in when I felt like doing any any kind of shows, like an instrumental, acoustic, and the, and rock like I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. But I finally decided that I really need to hone in, and, and, and it just felt right for me now to hone in and pick a band that that I can really count on to be this, this growing, organic, natural thing, and that's what I've come up with mm -hmm. with this combination. Well, now, after this tour, what, do you have any plans? I want to do a whole acoustic, you know, a serious, big, big production acoustic show with players, you know, uh, keyboards, percussionist, uh, upright bass player, mm -hmm. video screen, uh, quad sound, the whole thing. It's a vision I have that I, that I know I will have a whole bunch of fun doing. Certainly not something that I can just call up some players and go, oh, boys, we're going to go play. No, it takes a lot of pre-production, like a Broadway play almost. Mm -hmm. But... Um, but I'm not going to limit myself to just this year with this band because it's so much fun. I may go all through next year and, and be touring across the country. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And you think you'll go in the studio and cut some tracks and make a record anytime um, soon? I don't see that happening right mm -hmm. now. I'm, right. I'm focusing. Well, you know what? There will be a recording if this band turns out to be like, like I'm, I'm thinking it's going to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, we may go ahead and document this and make a, a, a DVD of, of a performance with this band yeah, in, in this current lineup. Well, we could certainly use a proper DVD for the end. I'd like to do one. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank you for sitting down and talking with us. My Ryan. pleasure, it really is. And yeah. uh, have a great show tonight. And Yes, sir, I will. And this is Sean Perry with VintageRock.com signing off. This is off. Ronnie, Ronnie Montrose, Montrose with Sean Perry from VintageRock.com. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>